subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you can watch our latest videos at very first hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to discuss a interview experience of infosys so without any delay let's start the video so how many rounds in the infosys there are three rounds in the infosys the first round consists of online test second round consists of technical round and the last round consists of hr round or project round so i already said the round one is of online test so online test is basically last for 30 minutes and three sections are included in it the three sections are logical reasoning quantitative aptitude and english grammar in logical reasoning most of the question were asked from graphs pattern and setting arrangement questions and you can also go through the other topics which are important for the interviews so let's move on to the quantitative aptitude the topics asked in quantitative aptitudes are combination probability time distance and speed and many other topics are also included in the quantitative aptitude section and the last section is english grammar basically what type of question they are asked they are asking question from correction they are asking question from synonyms antonyms tense unseen passages so basically these topics are very much important for the emphasis in the online test round and also you have to study other topics but these topics are most important topics so let's move on to the round number 2 so round number 2 is basically of technical round and basically in this round technical based question were asked by the interviewer so we all know that the first question is only question tell me about yourself so in this question you have to tell about yourself in brief and all the points you are going to tell in these are not included in resume you can take some of the topics from resume but all the topics are not included in resume this is mandatory and the second question basically they can ask question on linear and non linear data structures they can also ask question from linked list and also from graphs so you have to prepare for the graphs also and in the dbms part they can ask question like primary key foreign key and many other type of keys are there in the dbms you have to go through the keys because the keys topics are very much important for the interview point of view and again they can ask question from sql languages like sql queries they can ask uh, write a query for this write a uh, write a query for that uh, run the query in the oracle server so basically this type of question were asked in the sql languages question so again they can ask question like four pillar of oops so what are the four pillars the four pillars are abstraction polymorphism encapsulation and inheritance and lastly i have included sdlc model so basically this is from software engineering this is not that much important but yeah this is also important and again there are many type of question they can ask so you can go through the question so for that question you can go through the website called java point and at that point uh, there are approx 100 plus question are given with the solution so you have to go through this so let's move on to the last round so yeah this is basically going to be last round which is called hr round so in the hr round basically they are asking question like your introduction in the hr round you have to introduce yourself as a company point of view what you are going to do what is your aim what you are willing to become in your future and in what type of uh, area you are going to working on so this type of introduction we are included in the hr round introduction again they can ask question like what is your aim what you wanted to be so you have to display your aim like it going to profit the company not you only so basically uh, you have to design your aim question on the basis and on the behalf of the company and again they can ask question about infosys uh, for that question you have to go through the infosys website uh, before your interview and uh, just explore the infosys website for at least 30 to 40 minutes and then you are going to answer all the question were asked by the interviewer to you and last they can ask question like what is your area of interest that means in which domain you are going to work in which domain you want to work so this type of question were asked by the hr in the hr round and again for the hr round question for the technical round question for the online test question you can go through the java point website uh, just go through the java point website and search uh, infosys interview experience so you can see many question are arrived there 
approximately 100 plus question with the solution so just go through all the question and damn sure you're going to crack the interview so yeah that's it for this video guys if you gain some knowledge from this video please like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel and also share to my channel with your colleagues with your friends so yeah i'm wrapping this video over here and we will meet next time